You resist the pre-fire instruction, receive the instruction, protect yourself, protect it all the time. Give me a clean fight, una pelea limpia. Good luck, buena suerte. Gilberto Zerto Ramirez has looked like a world beater at the light heavyweight division. And he's going to have to beat another tough Cuban tonight, Unieski Gonzalez, who looks like he hasn't smiled in 20 years. He is a nice guy, but tonight <laughs> all business as he looks to become a wrecking crew in the early rounds. Scheduled for 12, Ramirez in the white and red, Gonzalez in the teal and pink. Key to this fight, to me, is distance. Uh, Gonzalez was carved up by Bostic in the uh, fight three years ago, four years ago now, because Bostic was able to keep his distance and just batter him from the outside. Gonzalez has to find a way on the inside to make this more of a bar fight. Ramirez so soft-spoken, walks in a room so unassuming, but in the ring, he carries quite a punch. 28 KOs and 42 wins, and he's vowed to get another one here tonight as Gonzalez trying to start fast. Yeah, Ramirez showing respect for Gonzalez. Wait a minute, a right hand lands for Gonzalez. Gonzalez is dangerous early, especially in the first round. He has seven first round knockouts. You know, for all of Ramirez's physical tools, he oftentimes doesn't use them. He has got the length and the reach to be really effective operating behind the jab, but a lot of times in his career, we've seen him prefer to take fights on the inside. And there's that body shot that Ramirez is going to be looking for. Body shots and uppercuts if you're Ramirez, but you got to stay off the ropes. Left hand connects on Zerto, and this is a dream start for Unieski Gonzalez. And there's that left uppercut. Uppercuts are what make Surdo Ramirez so dangerous. But right now, he needs to be very careful in this first three minutes of this fight. Great start for the Cuban as he eats the straight left hand. Pop him like that on the outside of the jab. When you have the reach advantage, you got to use that, that, that advantage to your benefit. There's another stiff jab from Zerto. Surdo needs to pop him from the outside and gut him from the inside. And Sergio, everything so far from Ramirez is upstairs. His two wins over, or his two knockdowns against Sullivan Barrera, both courtesy of body shots and, early in that fight. And this is how he sets up those uppercuts and body shots, by popping him with that jab from the outside, using that reach advantage, making your opponent miss. That's one thing Gonzalez has. He has bad balance when he misses. Good head movement there from Gonzalez. And this is what Gonzalez likes to do, sometimes bury his forehead right in your chest. But, Sergio, you say if he does that, he's perfect picking for Ramirez's uppercut. He is, especially with that right uppercut. But it seems like Ramirez is a little bit too relaxed right now. He needs to be careful, especially in these early rounds. Caught him coming in this time. Ramirez is just too excited, I think, to play it safe. He landed some. Beautiful, strong right uppercuts on the inside. That's his money punch. If he can pair that with that left hook to the body right there, just like he did in his last fight, that's how he wins this fight. Good skills being shown here by Zerto Ramirez. Exciting fight. So how great are they? Well, he's following him right there. He's punching and dipping. You got to watch out for counters coming back because they're, they're going to be wide counters coming back from Gonzalez. So punch with precision and then get out. He's right in the fire, and the crowd is eating it up. Yeah, but look at how smooth Ramirez is. Now he's moving his head, pivoting away, not standing in front of the power of Unesky Gonzalez. Well, not even a warning. Not even a warning. You know, that was a choice coming in with that check right hand. Right hand there for Zerto. Zerto wants to get him out of here right now. Well, he better be careful because I'm telling you, Gonzalez is dangerous early in these fights. He's looking for those overhand rights. 
That's the money punch with a southpaw, just like that, coming up short. Is this the fight you expected, Chris Mannix? Not really, because Gonzalez, well, he's been a little more active than I thought he was going to be. But Ramirez is kind of letting him be active. He's staying in the pocket, just trading with him and not using his outside skills. Ramirez landed a big left hand, but Gonzalez took it well. He wanted to make a statement. He wants Bebo to notice him, and he is doing that so far. Nice spin move by Zerto. Fudo is nifty for being such a tall, big fighter. I'm really impressed with the pivots, just like that. The pivots of Ramirez, now standing in front of the power. Oh, he got caught there by Gonzalez. Gonzalez is landing some power punches, and Zerto's feeling it. Fudo's feeling them, but he's also rolling with them. They're going off the shoulders, the big shoulders of Ramirez. He's not rolling with all of them. for Ramirez, and again, he's lighting them up right at the bell. They exchange shots. Oh, looking for that right hand, that short right hand, and that looping overhand right. You're giving him a lot of credit, though, Sergio. I don't think he has much left. I think the corner is right from Zerto Ramirez saying he is going to tire. I think he's already there. How do you like that right hand, Chris? That landed cleanly on Ramirez. Okay. He's looking for that big right hand, I'm telling you. He's a cagey veteran with power. Yeah, you're not seeing combinations, though. It's one shot, waiting. Feet seem stuck in the mud. So Sergio believes. Gonzalez walking back, Ramirez now. Oh, and he caught him with the left hook. That buckled the knees. Is this the beginning of the end for Gonzalez? He's coming forward now like a bull. Incredible action between these two light heavyweights. Look at this, and down goes Gonzalez. The same with the push. I love the way that Ramirez is countering backwards. They're all power counter shots. Zerto Ramirez fighting like he's got somewhere to go. He does not want this to continue much longer. And we saw in the Chisora Parker fight, the uppercut was there for Joseph Parker. I think the uppercut is right there for Ramirez, too. And this is the thing about Gonzalez. He has bad balance. Every time he misses, he falls off balance. And he's eating punch after power punch. You're right, his foundation is shot. Oh, but he's still got it up to land that right hand. Incredible action here in San Antonio. The referee taking a good look at Zerto, bearing down on his opponent. He's ready to go. Gonzalez about to throw something back. 10 seconds left. <laughs> what a fight this has been. Yeah, the body language said a lot in that moment. Gonzalez was largely unresponsive to those questions. Ramirez is going to have to put out Gonzalez, put him out of his misery here, because Gonzalez is not going anywhere. The referee Rafael Ramos right on top of these guys. Gonzalez still looking for that overhand right. Pretty impressive chin shown by Gonzalez. He's just eating straight left hands. And now he's coming forward. Remember the Alamo. That's what Gonzalez. That's his mentality. I'm not out of it till I'm out of it. Nice little good right hand on the inside for Ramirez. 30 seconds to go. Gonzalez looks gassed. That checked right hook hurt Gonzalez. I think a barrage of punches is going to stop Gonzalez. And finally downstairs, Zerto working the body too. How is Gonzalez still on his feet? I would have bet a lot of money he didn't make it through this fifth round when it started. But here he is. One tough customer is Uniaski Gonzalez. Oh, a big head collision. It looked like the forehead of Gonzalez clipped Ramirez good. Yeah, I caught him right on the jaw, too. Ooh. Nice and alert. That could change the complexion of a fight. Back on the jab. Back on the jab in the face. They both collided, and you get to see that a lot with uh, lefties and righties. They clash feet, they clash heads a lot. All he's got is the right hand. 
Good left cross from Ramirez. Back in the body when you lock him up. Watch that right hand. See, watch that right hand is what Julian Chua is saying, and that's a big right hand that Ramirez just needs to look out for. That's the re Oh, a shot from Gonzalez. And that snapped Ramirez's head, and he's backpedaling. Ramirez is hurt by that left hook. That rocks through the Ramirez. And he goes downstairs. And there's that chop where the top of Gonzalez's head clipped the jaw, almost like a power punch that Ramirez took. Gonzalez's recuperative powers are incredible. How is he still in this fight when he's looked gassed for so long? Because Ramirez is giving him a chance. He's fighting him off. Ah! Cleaner shots. Headbutt doesn't count as a punch, but that was an impactful moment for this fight. We'll see how well Ramirez recovers after that. Oh, he ate a couple, but then landed a right, did Gonzalez, who's all of a sudden looking very confident. Good check right hand right there. Yeah, when he sticks and moves, that's when he's at his best, no doubt. And that's what Ramirez has to do here. He can't fight Gonzalez this fight. He can't exchange punches with him. You got to pot shot him from the outside. Make Gonzalez fall off balance when he misses and make him pay. Yeah, and this is a bad distance for Gonzalez. This is where Vostick had him back in 2017, was able to carve him up. He's got to get back on the inside, make it a more physical fight. A lot of redness around both eyes. The nose looks swollen of Ramirez. He has been in a fight tonight for sure. And that's because Sudo went downstairs finally, digging down to the body's, uh, body of Gonzalez. Anytime the taller fighter goes downstairs to the body, the shorter fighter is going to have an opportunity to come over the top. This took the best headshot. <laughs> from Gonzalez, literally with his head. Literally. There's that body shot. There's that body shot. Ramirez landed on Barrero Sullivan. Gonzalez took that well. Keep digging downstairs. There it is again. That time it was blocked by Gonzalez. Gonzalez was hurt to the body. That's what's going to take out Gonzalez, the body shots. It ain't going to be head shots no more. Telling him he needs a knockout, Sergio. How does Zerto or how does Unieski Gonzalez get it? By timing him with that right hand. I mean, he got close. He's landed it before already. Oh, the crowd senses something, and you can see Gonzalez backpedaling. And Ramirez better not forget the body. The body's what's going to set up the knockout. He slipped that right hand, did Zerto. Oh, he caught him that time. Oh, got to go and finish him. That right hand is the only thing that Ramirez needs to look out for. He's going to try and pepper him and force the referee to stop it. And he does! Zerto Ramirez! Knockout number 29 as he remains perfect in the light heavyweight division. And Gonzalez is out. His legs dancing back to the corner. But what a courageous performance by Udeski Gonzalez. In this contest, the official time comes to you 123, round 10 to the winner by TKO, and now the number one WBA light heavyweight mandatory challenger, and still undefeated, Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez! Well, Sergio, give me a grade for Zerto tonight. He looked vulnerable, but I love the fact that he took punches because he's going to get punched by these monsters at light heavyweight. So we needed to see this toughness from Surdo Ramirez. We needed to see him get checked. We needed to see go backwards. I needed everything I needed to see. So yes, I thought it was a solid B-plus performance, but on toughness, on resilience, on facing the fire, it was an A-plus on Surdo Ramirez's part.